Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, Force here, and today we will be taking a look at the secret level in Diablo 3 known only as Whimsy Shire. Let us go ahead and get things started. Hmm. <clears throat> we see you have brought the item. That is good. We are utterly pleased. <laughs> Wait, you're a... a cow? Where in Bullcatha's name did I go wrong in my life? And you are a stinking bag of flesh with no fur. Ah, <laughs> touche. Ah, this is no time to be silly! The level of sparkling happiness and rainbows awaits you. You mean the cow level? No! There is no cow level. No. Ma! Uh, excuse me. Move along. Now that we have the quest, it is time to go ahead and make our way down into Whimsy Shire. This is an absolute riot. Uh, I'm going to apologize here. At the very beginning, there's a little bit of uh, FPS issues. I'm not exactly sure why this occurred, but I had a little bit of lag here early on. Incredibly, incredibly sad. It's going to pick up and return to a smooth frame rate right now, though. All right, so let's talk about this. Whimsy Shire, the secret level in Diablo 3, the equivalent of Diablo 2's cow level. Why is it super cartoony force? What the heck is going on? I thought this was Diablo. This is actually a response from the developer, uh, Blizzard, of course, and I think it's absolutely hilarious, to be honest with you. When the game first came out and people were complaining that it was way too cartoony and didn't, they didn't like how it looked, uh, Blizzard made a shirt, which, which was a rainbow and a unicorn and it said Diablo 3 that was like at that time they claimed it to be the official Diablo 3 logo and it was sort of you know it was meant in good humor it was just joking around uh, given all the complaints about uh, the cartoony or the colorness of the game and so they decided all right now that we're going to release Diablo 3 are we going to do another cow level what do we do and I'm I'm glad that they didn't do a cow level I'm actually glad that this is what they decided to do instead because I think it's hilarious I mean look at this you walk around here not only are there bouncing clouds <laughs> but uh, what you're fighting against are flowers teddy bears and unicorns all of which of course are like pink and teal and yellow I mean what a color palette huh the cupcakes that drop are the equivalent of health globes the bouncing clouds are actually treasure chests and once I click on one uh, you should see it sooner than later uh, what happens is your guy actually runs up to the treasure chest and he fist pumps in the air because he's super stoked <laughs> and then the treasure just drops from the cloud the glorious happy bouncing cloud this reminds me so much of Mario games for some reason. I'm not sure what it is. I mean, just take a look at the map in the upper right hand corner. Uh, the walkable ground is all rainbow colored and uh, it's it's a riot, absolute riot. Nothing too too special about this. Uh, from what I understand, this is this is in the normal uh, this is the normal difficulty version. There are there's a version for each difficulty. It's going to be the same general thing. Obviously, everything's randomized, but. Uh, there are champion monsters. We I did not find or we have not seen any like big head bosses or anything. I haven't seen a thing yet. Possibly that that is going to be the case in the later difficulties. But in the normal secret cow level or whimsy shire, uh, there is no there was no head boss. Just some champion versions of the teddy bears, unicorns, and flowers. And we'll be encountering at least a few of those. I think I remember about two or three of them here. Confetti flies everywhere as well. It's just, it is great. It is absolutely great. Now, the other purpose of this video is not just to show you this, because I do believe there is a video showcasing Whimsy Shire out there already, but there was no commentary, and I want to take this, uh, use the uh, use this opportunity to explain to you guys how you can actually do this, because I know that many of you are going to be like, okay, Force, this is great that you're showing me this, but how do I get here? Uh, I was given the rundown by the other character named Force in this uh, in this playthrough, that monk there. And this is what this is what happens. You must pick up the recipe that comes from Azul in Act Four. You must then acquire the following items. There is a mushroom from Cathedral Level One in Act One, uh, Leork's Shin Bone from Leork's Manor in Act One, Wurt's Cowbell from the uh, Bazaar Vendor in Act Two. It's going to cost you a hundred thousand gold. So there's a Bazaar Vendor in Act Two. Uh, which, which you can acquire, Wart's Cowbell. Bottled Rainbow from the Mysterious Cave in Act 2 Oasis. Now the cave 
and the rainbow event are both rare so you're not just because you go to act 2 oasis doesn't mean you're guaranteed to find the cave and even if you do find the mysterious cave you're not guaranteed to get the rainbow event so you must find both those things and acquire the bottled rainbow from that you then get the gibbering gem from uh, Chiltara, a rare spawn inside Frozen Cave level two in act three. Combine all those items together plus 50,000 gold with the recipe that you picked up from Azul in act four. And then you go to the open ground area that you saw standing at at the beginning of the video. You go to that area and that is on Old Tristram Road in act one, pretty much at the very beginning of the game. And that's it. And then you talk to the cow once you uh, once you have, you, you pick up the, uh, uh, the, the item itself, which I'll be putting on the screen right now, from the recipe that you created. It's going to let you build, make this item, and then you just go ahead and activate it there. The cow will appear, you start the quest, and then you go and do everything that you're seeing us do here. So it's it's great, man, and uh, I, again, I think it's really funny that uh, Blizzard decided to do this. We saw nothing really special in terms of items in here. Uh, now I am working through Nightmare right now. I'm kind of taking my time. Uh, I'm not trying to rush to 60 at the moment because, you know, I beat the game on normal and now I'm just kind of making sure I play with my friends because that's what I enjoy the most. I uh, will be really excited though to get to level 60 to start bringing you guys some high-end content talking about builds and such then. Uh, but hopefully you did enjoy this video of Whimsy Shire. Again, nothing too special besides champion packs. There was no big boss or anything like that. And I guess that will do it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you did enjoy the video. I'll let it play for another minute or two before I cut it off. Uh, once again, this has been Force. If you like the content, please subscribe. Also check out the website, forcestrategygaming.com. Keep watching and keep owning. Oh, you teddy bears, clouds, and flowers. So cute.